Welcome back and continuing on from last week, I'm on a mission to help you find your first or next web design client. Thank you to everyone who already took the time to answer my poll. And if you haven't already, please check it out. It's in the community tab because that will help me create good content for you. So my first three clients that I found were a friend, a family member, and someone in a Facebook group. But that is just three ways out of many that you can find clients. So in this video, I'm going to tell you 11 different places you can find web design clients. One, friends and family. As I mentioned in the previous video, my first two clients were a friend and a family member. This is exactly why I tell all my students to tell everyone when they start their web design business, because you never know who might need a website or who might know someone who needs a website. Two, referrals. So there are three types of referrals where you can commonly get clients from. So the first is from friends and family. So if you let them know what you're doing, if they hear about someone else that might need a website or need some tech help, then they will probably refer you. Secondly, you can get referrals from existing or previous clients. If you do a good job for your client, then it's really likely that they will refer you. Just think every business owner, they have their own network and they're always helping out their peers. So if they work with someone really great like you, then they will probably refer you on. And the third type of referral is from those in your own network. For example, you could partner with other service providers such as graphic designers, bookkeepers, any other service provider out there, you could partner with them. And again, they will have their own network. So if you do a really good job with them, there's a good chance they will refer you on. Third place, Facebook groups. Facebook groups are one of the best places to find clients. There are literally billions of Facebook users and a whole bunch of them are business owners. Side note, be sure to subscribe to my channel because next week I'm gonna be talking all about finding clients on Facebook. Fourth place, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is another amazing place to find clients. Now, unlike a lot of the other social media platforms, LinkedIn was created specifically to network. So it absolutely makes sense for you to get on LinkedIn and get out there and network. The fifth place is Instagram. Instagram is another great social media platform for you to find clients. If you aren't already on Instagram, I highly recommend creating an account and diving in. Now, if you don't have the budget to hire someone to do this for you, then I would recommend going on Instagram and following social media managers because a lot of times they're giving out fantastic tips. Now, here's the thing. Don't get overwhelmed by all the different strategies that you hear about everyone trying and saying is the best new thing. Instead, just choose a strategy that works for you, show up and be consistent. The sixth place to find clients is TikTok. TikTok absolutely boomed in the last couple years and it has become one of the best places to find clients. And the reason for this is TikTok gives you the opportunity if you have little or no following to really be seen. Now, no one really knows what makes a video go viral, but you always hear the stories of the small business that had no following and they had a video that just took off and went viral. And then they had tons of clients coming in. I'd recommend you get on TikTok, have a scroll through the For You page and just see what comes up. Get some inspiration and ideas from what other people are doing and what's working for them. The seventh place to find clients, Google My Business and local SEO. Now ranking on Google can be hard and it does take time, but this is where local SEO really comes in. Essentially what you want to do is set up your website and your online presence so that it links you to a specific location. Here's an example. Let's say you live in Dallas and someone searches Dallas web designer. If your website says that you are a Dallas web designer, then you're a lot more likely to show up in those search results than someone say, in the UK. Now with that in mind, you also want to make sure you have a Google My Business profile set up. And this is great because you can add in your location and it will show up on a Google map search. Pro tip, make sure you get your clients to leave reviews on Google for your business because it really makes it seem more legit. The eighth place is Upwork and Fiverr. Upwork and Fiverr are platforms built specifically for freelance work. 
Something to keep in mind about these two platforms is a lot of people have doubts about whether or not they can make a living on these sites because there's so much competition and there's a lot of folks on there who are working for a very, very low amount of money. However, there are a lot of people that make a very good living on these sites. So make sure if you do get on Upwork and Fiverr that you position yourself and you market yourself correctly. The ninth place are portfolio sites. Start showing off your work on portfolio sites like Behance and Dribbble. So these sites aren't only visited by people looking for inspiration. You've also got small businesses and agencies that keep an eye on what's going on there. It is a fantastic way for people to see what you're capable of. The 10th place, online job boards. Check out online job boards and see what's around. There are so many out there. There are some that are location specific and that there are some that are open to anyone around the world. There are jobs available that are full-time, part-time, project-based, really anything you can think of. All you gotta do is go and check it out. The 11th place, 11, local networking. If there's a local business group that gets together, then go along, introduce yourself, start to network. Maybe it's a chamber of commerce or a small business association, whatever it is, if you've got something going on locally for small businesses, I highly recommend you get involved. Well, there you have it. 11 places you could find web design clients. I would love to hear if you found any of your clients at any of these places, let me know in the comments below, or maybe you found your clients somewhere else. Thanks so much for watching and please do me a favor and go up to the community tab and answer the polls in there so that I can help you find your first client. If you're looking for what to watch next, check out my video on tips for discovery calls so you can nail that next potential client call.